What's up guys, Matt the Matt Hero here and I am back again with another video. We are looking at adding and subtracting fractions. It's not as hard as it sounds, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so we are going to be looking at the basics of adding and subtracting fractions today. Now if you've looked at multiplying fractions already, great. If not, don't worry. I personally think that looking at multiplying fractions before you're looking at adding and subtracting fractions is a good piece of advice. So check out our video on multiplying fractions if you haven't already, okay? But today we're looking at adding and subtracting fractions. So if you have looked at multiplying fractions, you will know that it's very simple. All we do is we multiply the top numbers and we multiply the bottom numbers. So if we have three fifths multiplied by two quarters, then all we need to do is multiply the top numbers. Three times two is six. Bottom numbers, five times four is 20, giving our total of six twenty. But can we use that same trick for adding and subtracting fractions? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at a really basic fraction. Let's have a look at one half add one half. Now we know that's going to be a whole. One half a pizza add another half of a pizza is going to give you a whole pizza. Okay, so let's just see if that same tactic works for this. One, add one, looking at the top two numbers, equals two. If we look at the bottom two numbers, two, add two is four. Now two fourths or two quarters simplified down is one half. One half, add one half is one half. Okay, we've done something wrong. We cannot use this same trick. Okay, let's see why this does not work. We have a very important rule in mathematics, and that rule is something called the order of operations. Okay, now what that says in this rule is that we need to always multiply and divide before we add and subtract in any problem. And because fractions are just division problems, we can't do the addition before we do the division part, okay? So we can't add the top numbers and then the bottom numbers because then we're skipping out the division part, okay? And we can't do that. Okay, so luckily we do have another trick. This is your secret tip. Don't tell anyone. Okay, but before I can tell you the trick, we need to look at a fraction and what it's made up of, okay? We have a numerator at the top and a denominator at the bottom. Our denominator at the bottom just is the name of our fraction. It's one fifth, three fifths. Five fifths, it's a fifth. The value is fifth, okay? The numerator is how many fifths, the number, the quantity, how many fifths we have. One fifth, three fifths, four fifths. How many of that value do we have? Once we can understand that, once we can start to think of a numerator as the number, the volume, the quantity of the fractions we have, similar to saying one donkey, three donkeys, five donkeys. It's just the name of the fraction. So if we think of it like that, the numerator is how many we have and the denominator is what the name is, then we can just simply add the numerators or subtract the numerators to give us our new value. Okay, so if we look at that with our halves again, we have one half, add one half. So we're going to add our numerators, one add one is two, but we're going to keep our denominator, the name, the same because the value of our fractions haven't changed. Okay, so one half add one half is two at the top, two at the bottom is a whole. Okay, and then that's right, one half add one half is a whole. Fantastic. Let's see another example of this trick. If we had three fifteenths add four fifteenths, we could have three elephants, add four elephants. Three add four is seven. The name of the fraction hasn't changed, it's a fifteenth. So we have seven fifteenths, simple. And the good news, that works with subtraction as well. Let's have a look, if we have five tenths, subtract two tenths, what am I doing? I'm taking two away from the five. Five subtract two is three. We haven't changed the value of the fraction, so we have three tenths. Simple. How easy could this be? Well, let's just pause a second. Let's not get carried away. Let's not think we are Albert Einstein all of a sudden, okay? We have got a little problem. All of our denominators are the same in these examples, okay? We had one half, add one half. Three fifteenths, add four fifteenths. Five tenths, take away, or subtract two tenths. Now, the name for this is like fractions. They are alike. We have one half, add one half. 
We have three fifteenths, we have four fifteenths. They are like. If the denominators are the same, we call them like fractions. And if they are not alike, we call them unlike fractions. Okay, and we need a solution to adding unlike fractions. But don't worry, I would never let you down like that. There is a solution. We can manipulate the look of our fraction, give ourselves an equivalent fraction, but getting the same denominators, okay? But we're gonna look at that in a different video. If you are ready for that, check out our video on adding and subtracting unlike fractions, and then we'll learn all about how to create and transform our fractions into equal but different looking fractions with different numbers so that we can add them and subtract them. Hope this video has been helpful for you guys. Like and subscribe to the channel for weekly videos going all the way through the English curriculum and got fun and exciting riddles and challenges as well. So please give us a big thumbs up and a like if you've enjoyed this video. For now, away.